Recording in progress. Welcome to today. I am Natalie. It is fantastic to see you. Welcome to my home. It is time to get started. We're going to get into our lower backs, our glutes, our lower bodies today. So grab your mat, grab some blocks. Also grab a band, whether it's one of these connected ones or tie it off. We're going to be working on our lower body. So we're going to bring them through, bring the, our legs through this. So tie off your band if you need to get everything all ready make sure you have some water and let's get started take off my slippers so have all your items at your fingertips so we can just get right into the moment thank you again for joining me for your at-home workout i am natalie let's get started Let's roll those shoulders up, back and down, right away. Pull on those abdominals, engage them. And before we adventure all the way down to our mat, let's really lengthen our spine in both directions. Finding space in our spine, roll those shoulders a few times. And maybe you can see I have my toes peeled away from the mat, spreading those toes and gently place them back down on the mat. Let's lean forward and back and side to side. Check in where your balance is today, where you feel it. Just move side to side, front and back, getting into every area of your feet. Lifted, being lifted by your ears and find some stillness. Place those big toes underneath those hip bones. Roll shoulders up, back and down and tuck your chin. Bend your knees, start to round and roll all the way down. Bend those knees super generously and then press back into those heels. Roll yourself up. Last thing to come up is your neck, head, shoulders, roll them up, back and down. Let's repeat that, tucking that chin, rolling yourself down. And roll yourself up. Shoulders up, back and down. Do it one more time, tuck that chin, roll yourself down. And stay here with me, please. Bending those knees, super bendy. Bringing your weight a little bit more forward into those toes rather than those heels. Shake out your head, knot it, wiggle your jaw, fingers and toes. Especially your jaw. Keep those knees bent, super bendy. Walk over to that left side, fingertips to the left side, grounding through that right heel. Head is heavy. Walk those fingertips back to the center, bend both knees, and then straighten those legs. Maybe not all the way. Be mindful of where your weight is. Bring it a little bit more forward, and then bend those knees. Let those seat bones shine to the ceiling, and then bend knees again. Walk your fingertips over to that right side, please. Head is heavy, grounding through that left foot. Getting into your side body. If you feel any tension in your neck or jaw, just wiggle it out, wiggle your tongue, make a silly face. It's hard to have tension when you make a silly face. And walk back, those fingertips to the center, bend those knees even deeper, and then straighten those legs any amount that your body allows, pulling abdominals away from those quads. Bend knees again, and straighten. Allow the top of your head to be heavy, pointed towards the floor. Bend and straighten those knees a few more times. Super important, getting those knees in motion, warming them up. Bend your knees, super bendy, top of the head, pointed towards the mat, the floor, and straighten your left leg. 
and switch. Straighten that right leg, bend the left, and alternate here, bending and straightening this elephant walk or whatever you want to call it, pedaling out through those legs. Let your trunk go with you, but keep those abdominals engaged. Maybe you bend your right leg and you stay here looking under that left armpit. And then alternating. Engage your abdominals, pull them away from those quads. Repeat one more time. And bend both knees. Super bendy. Place hands on the mat if they aren't already. Coming down to one knee, then the other. Find your tabletop for me, please. Pulling abdominals away from the floor. Nice job. And get a little adventurous right here. Let's maybe make a circle with our tailbone. Releasing anything in your glutes, your lower back. Just take a circle with that tailbone. Do you start to feel your abdominals warm up or engage? Reverse that circle. Finding some stillness, pressing all knuckles into the mat. Spread those fingertips. And then all I want you to do is curl those toes onto the mat, please. And then press the hips back. Maybe your knees don't bend all the way. That's okay. Give them some love. Press yourself back up into that tabletop. And press your hips towards those heels again. Back to tabletop. And one more time, pressing heels back. Awesome. Uncurl those toes, come to one hip. Grab your blocks if you need them. But mostly I just want you to grab your band. Let's, let's uh, bring our legs through the band right away. Actually, no, I take that back. I take that back. Let's do some more stretching before we do our band. So come down to one hip, roll all the way down to your back. Bringing, drawing those knees out into your chest. Rock gently back and forth. And then knee circles either with those legs together or apart just make sure you go both directions both rotations and rock back and forth gently lower that right foot onto the mat draw that left thigh close to your body Make sure your neck is in alignment. So if you need to lift it and then gently place it back onto the mat, just so your neck is nice and long on that mat. Bring that leg closer to your chest. Maybe you swirl that left toe around in both directions, pointing and flexing. Do all the things. Find some movement in your ankle. Give your ankle some love. And then gently straighten that left leg any amount, drawing that left thigh close to your chest, but also being mindful of your tailbone. It's lengthening along the, the mat. And if it feels good to you today, let's lengthen that right leg, pressing the right heel into the mat, finding length in that right hip flexor. I drove a lot this weekend, so ouchie. My glutes, my bum is on fire. Now let's inhale, let's bring that trunk up off the mat, nose to knee, and release. Do that three more times for me. Two more. One. 
one more. Stay here. Pressing lower back into the mat. Wiggle those shoulders. Shake your head. No tension in your jaw. Try and bring that leg closer to you. And then gently roll down, but see if you can keep that thigh super close. Bend your left knee. Bring your right foot back onto the mat. Open up that left leg to the left side. Let's extend that right arm out to the side to kind of balance us. And if you notice, my right leg has opened a little bit to really balance me out so I don't roll over to one side. Let's draw that right, that left leg in super close, like draw it close to that left armpit. Can you bring it even higher? And then inhale, drawing both legs back to the center. Let's cross that left leg over the right, making this seat, this laying down figure four. So either stay here, pressing that left thigh away from you, or drawing the right leg close to your chest, getting a nice stretch on the outside of that left hip. Maybe you want to gently rock back and forth, breathing in and out. And then find some stillness and draw that right thigh closer to you, flexing your left foot, perhaps using that left elbow to open that left leg even further. Nice work. Give it one more squeeze, my friends. And gently lower that right foot. Cross the left thigh over the right thigh, drawing both legs into your chest, taking a hold of those shins or ankles, drawing your legs closer to you, but finding that opposite motion of lengthening tailbone, bringing legs together, but they're also being pulled apart. Find that opposition, really getting into that left hip. One more squeeze. Gently release those legs, uncross your feet, bringing knees to chest. Rock back and forth, please. Maybe do those knee circles again. Maybe you do the opposite and your legs move away from each other. Of course, going both directions. Or maybe you keep those legs together and do those knee circles the way you did at the beginning. Why don't you decide what feels good to you? And then give both legs a squeeze, gently lowering left foot onto the mat, drawing that right thigh close to your chest. Maybe you start to swirl that big, big toe on your right foot in both directions, pointing and flexing, doing all the things, giving your right ankle some love. Check in with your abdominals. Are you pressing your lower back into the mat? Now, if it feels good to you, draw that right leg in even closer and then starting to lengthen the left leg onto the mat, really pressing into that left heel. Straighten that right leg any amount. Lengthen tailbone. Inhale, bringing your trunk up off the mat, knee to nose, nose to knee, and roll back down. Three more times. Two more times. And release. Last one, stay here for me. Drawing your thigh closer. I don't know if you're looking up, if you notice, this is my right leg. And it's not as flexible, so I'm working on it. It's my goal. <laughs> Old injury. 
and start to roll down your trunk back to the mat, but see if you could keep that leg close to you. Awesome, bring the left foot back onto the mat, bend your right knee. Let's open up that right leg to that right side, drawing that right knee even closer to the armpit. Maybe your left leg opens to help balance you and lengthen left arm straight out from that shoulder. Give that leg one more squeeze, drawing it even closer to that right armpit. Engage your abdominals, draw legs back towards the center, back in alignment. And let's cross right ankle over left knee for your lane figure four. Staying here, pressing that right leg away from your body or drawing the left thigh close to your chest. Maybe before you find some stillness, you rock back and forth, side to side. And then find some stillness, please. Drawing left eye closer, but your tailbone lengthens flexing through the right foot. See how that changes the stretch. Bring that leg closer. One more squeeze. And then gently release. Crossing right thigh over left, drawing both legs into your chest. Finding those shins, maybe ankles. Finding that opposition. Lengthen your spine, bringing legs closer. Your legs are trying to be pulled apart, but also squeezing them together. Give your legs one more squeeze, please. And gently release, uncross those legs. Let's extend both arms into a T. Adjust yourself back on the mat if you wiggled around and need to do that. And gently drop your knees to the left. Core engaged. Drawing knees back through the center over to that right side. And let's windshield wiper left to right, right to left a few times. Do one more left and right, please. Head over to that left side, both knees to the left. Stay here, breathe. Or gently pick up that left leg, placing the left foot onto that right thigh. Even deeper stretch. Take a few breaths here. Surrender to this gentle twist. Send your breath in all the places it needs to be to be helpful to you today to release any tension any tightness pat your left leg on your right leg gently remove it engage your abdominals lift your knees back to the center head over to that right side stay here for a breath and then add lifting that right leg placing the right foot onto that left thigh, surrender, left shoulder is heavy, one 
one more breath here. Surrender. Find space. And then gently remove that right leg. Engage your abdominals. Returning knees back to the center, rocking. Drawing knees to chest, rock back and forth, please. Let's do one more stretch before we get our bands. Gently place those feet back onto the mat, lifting your hips over to that left, left side, your trunk and legs over to the right side, finding that banana shape, getting into your side body. Crossing left ankle over right if it feels good to you today. Using your right hand to lengthen left overhead or grab opposite elbows. Find your arm position that feels best to you today. One more breath here. Unclasp those hands, uncross those feet, placing feet back onto the mat, lift those hips, carry them to the right side, trunk and legs to the left, finding the banana shape on the other side, finding the arms that help you Get into that stretch even deeper. That feels good. Maybe cross your right ankle over left. Take your stretch here. Really pressing down through that right shoulder. Breathe. One more breath here. Beautiful. Place those feet or uncross those feet. Place the feet fat, flat on the mat. Align yourself back on the mat. Bringing knees to chest one more time. Grab your band wherever it is. Today's workout is about your lower body. <laughs> Slip on your band, please. Placing feet flat on the mat, mat. Find that tension between those legs. So my feet are aligned with those hips, but I want to make sure I feel tension in my band, so I have my legs out. Let's just do some regular lift hips. I can't talk today. It's Monday. Let's <laughs> press those hands into the mat. We go between those shoulders. Let's lift those hips up off the mat into our bridge. Squeeze those glutes and gently lower. Nine more times. Now these are our first bridges, so maybe you don't go press yourself all the way to your full expression of this bridge. What I want you to keep mindful of is you're squeezing those glutes to lift those hips. Yes, we're pressing into those feet, but squeeze those glutes. We're working on our glutes. Four. Three. Two. One more. Stay here. No tension in your jaw, neck, or shoulders. Lift those heels. Both. And lower. Lift. 
and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower those heels gently, lower your body. Beautiful, walk those feet in closer if they slipped. Pressing hands into the mat. 10 more bridges, lift and lower. Maybe this time full range of motion. Five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, stay up high, walk feet in if you need to. Let's do those heel lifts again. 10 and lower, 9, 8, 7, lift higher, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, gently lower, roll over, 2, that left shoulder, that left side. Stack those legs. So all the way down, resting on your bicep or up high, keeping shoulder and elbow in alignment. Find the 90 degree angle with those legs. Let's glue them together and let's do those clamshells lift and lower. Open and close. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Lengthen top leg. Really lift that heel behind you, getting into those glutes. Here we go. Good, kick behind you. Five more here, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, make your clamshell again. Adjust if you need to your band. Let's do it again, 10. Nine. Lifting. Don't sink into that shoulder. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Gently lengthen that top leg. Leading with that heel behind you. Ten. Here we go. Ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Roll back onto your back, please. Placing feet onto the mat. Wiggle between those shoulder blades. Hands onto the mat by your side. Drawing heels close to your glutes. Press up into that bridge. Lift your left leg, flex, flex your left foot, and then we're gonna dip, press up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Gently lower, both feet back onto the mat, regular bridges, 10, let's go. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Find that tension. Five, four, three, two, one more. Stay here. Lift the right leg. Flex that right foot. Ten dips. Here we go. Lower and lift. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knee, lower your body to the map, draw knees in, rock back and forth. Lower feet back onto the mat, roll over to that right side. Prop yourself up on your elbow or on your bicep, making sure you don't sink into that shoulder like that. Really have everything in alignment, please. Ready for those clamshells on this side? Let's go. Five, four, keep that core engaged. Three, two, one. Lengthen the top leg, leading with that heel. You ready? Let's do it. Lift and lower. This is where it's really easy to sink into that shoulder. Be mindful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Clamshells again. Ten. Let's go. Lift. I always say lift, but I mean, you know what I mean. Open and close. I used uh, the thicker band today. I'm really feeling it. Let's do four more. Four, three, two. Make sure you do 10 or the number you would like to do. <laughs> Lengthen the top leg, leading with that heel. Lift and lower. It's harder with the band, right? Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Back to your back, please. Wiggle between those shoulder blades, bringing the bottoms of your feet together as much as you can. Adjust your bend if you need to. And I just want you to lift your hips off the mat. No tension in your jaw, neck, or shoulders wiggle. And just close and open. So you're in this butterfly with your hips lifted. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two. Find the stability in your abdominals. Gently lower. So I think it's best if you keep your feet close together instead of the bottoms of your feet. Um, it helps with the band a little bit more. So bring those feet 
close together, mine are touching, hands on the mat, wiggle between those shoulder blades, and we're gonna do a bridge opening up into butterfly 10. So you're gonna lift, open, close, and lower. Seven more. Seven. Six. Five. Maybe you can keep the bottoms of your feet together, but with this band, I can't. It rolls right off. So adjust how you need to do. Four more. Four. Three, two, and one. Stay here up high. Ten, nine, opening and closing. Eight, seven, six, five. You got this. Lift higher. Four. Three, give me two more, you got this, two, and one. Nice work, gently lower, bringing knees to your chest. Rock back and forth, release your lower back. And then roll to one side, find your tabletop. Coming up to your knees, please. Bring those legs right underneath those hip bones. And then all we're going to do is open and close. Open and close. If you'd like to use a wall or a chair, please do, working on those adductors. Open and close. Let's do three more. Three, woo, two, and one. Try the other leg. Try for 10. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Head down to that tabletop. Now, you have choices here. So, your choice is to stay in tabletop and lengthen your left leg behind you and lift and lower. That's choice number one. Number two, walk hands ahead of those shoulders. Press into a down dog. Pedal through the feet a few times. And then take yourself to a plank and then lift and lower. Those are your two options. Take them now. We're going to do left and right. So I'm going to do 10 each. You decide what you would like to do. Tabletop or your plank getting into those shoulders, lifting your left leg, flex your left foot. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. If you were in your plank, lower to your knees. Keep those to toes curled. The same if you were in your tabletop, curl those toes on the mat. Press hips back to those heels. Give your shoulders a break for just a moment, a breather, a breath, or two. Stretching those toesies. And then press back into your tabletop or press into a down dog. 
and then press forward into your plank no matter where you are core is engaged spreading fingertips right leg this time flex that right foot lift and lower looking straight down at your mat five four three two one let's rest bringing knees to the mat if they weren't already there pressing hips back to those heels stretching arms in front of you breathe one more exercise either from tabletop or from your plank I'm going to demonstrate it now tabletop looks like this stretching your left leg behind you and tapping it to the side ten times and then we'll do the right side from your plank I like to go through down dog first and then to my plank and out to the side choose your path you got this let's do it nine eight core engaged six five four three two one to your knees press back into that child's pose again And right away back to your plank or your tabletop. Let's complete this exercise on that right side. Here we go. To the side. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. You got this. One. Beautiful. Knees down. Pressing hips back. While you're here, let's thread the left arm through. Bringing the left ear to the mat. And... Return the left hand th to the mat. Thread through the right arm, right ear to the mat. And return back to that child's pose. Stretch those arms nice and long. Press yourself to that tabletop. Wrist under shoulders, knees under hips, curling toes. Ten beasts, please. So lift and lower. Nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now lift that left leg, flex the left foot, and bring it back down to the mat. Lift up in your beast, lower knees, kick that right leg up, and back to your knees. Lift, lower, kick left up, Lift, lower, kick right. One more set, please. Lift, lower, kick left. One more. Kick right. Beautiful. Back to your beast. Ten of them. Lift and lower. Lift. 
five more, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Now kick up your right foot and gently lower to your beast. Lower, kick up your left and lower. Beast, kick up your right and lower. Beast, kick up your left. One more set. Lift, lower, kick right. Lift, lower, kick left. I'm going to do one more. Lift, lower, kick right. Lift, lower, kick left. Beautiful. Come to one hip, please. Remove your bend. Make sure you have your blocks ready for you. Find the setting that works for you. Bring your left leg in front. Find a nice lunge. Lengthen through the spine, please. Allow your hips to fall close to the floor. Roll shoulders. And then press into the mat, press those hips back, flex that left foot, find a nice hamstring stretch here, using blocks or not. Find the length out of the top of your head before you round through the spine. Find the length first, and then round. And bend into that front knee. Find that lunge again with blocks or not. And bring that left knee to meet the right. And exchange the feet. Put the right foot in front. Find that low lunge with your blocks or not. And when it feels good, press those hips back, flex through that right foot, find the length out of the top of your head, hinge forward, and until you can't go any further, then round through the spine. Really make sure that hip is over that right knee, please. Pulling abdominals away from the floor. Relax into it. Find space in your hamstrings. Breathe. And when you're ready, press forward, bending that right knee. Find your lunge one more time. And fingertips to the floor, back onto your knees. Roll to one hip, to your glutes. You can use the blocks or a roller under those knees. Keep them super soft though, remove the flesh. Roll shoulders up, back and down. Lengthen from your spine, engage your core, open through your heart. Hinge forward. And when you can't go any further round through the spine, 
Nothing better than a forward fold to finish out our moment together. No tension in your jaw. Wiggle it, wiggle your tongue, make a silly face. And walk yourself back up. Let's draw that left foot into the inside of that right thigh. Flex through that right foot and then fold again. And come up halfway, take both of your hands to the outside of that right leg, and then fold forward again. Come up halfway, and walk yourself up. Let's straighten our left leg, bend our right, bringing the bottom of our foot to the inside of that left thigh. Sitting nice and tall, remove the flesh, hinge forward nice and long, and then round through the spine. Come up halfway, please. Take both hands to the outside of that left leg and then hinge forward one more time. Come up halfway, frame that left foot with those hands and walk yourself up, please. Bending both knees. Let's draw our right leg into our chest, tuck through your chin, roll down. One more thing before we say goodbye, grab your block, lift up those hips, place it underneath those hips. And straighten those legs any amount. Wiggle between those shoulder blades. Point and flex through the feet. Allow the blood to reverse its direction. If you ever have like one of those days you're on your feet all day or you've done a really crazy heavy lower body workout, this is amazing. Either legs up the wall or place a block underneath those hips. And then bend both knees. Lower your right foot to the floor. Draw your left um leg into your chest now straighten your right leg press your right heel into the mat get into that hip flexor and then both knees to your chest again lower left foot to the mat join right thigh close to your chest and then lengthen the left leg press it in to the mat into the floor get that really big stretch and then both knees into your chest give your lower body a massage your lower back I mean by rocking back and forth on your block for a moment 
and then gently lower both feet to the mat press the feet into the mat lift those hips remove the block let's cross bring our knees to our chest cross right ankle over left grab it behind those legs rock yourself up come to a tabletop walk those hands ahead of those shoulders into your down dog pedal those feet a few times and then really lift those hip bones pressing heels into the mat let's walk our hands towards our feet let's bend our knees generously shake your head no nod it yes wiggle your jaw make a silly face no tension in your jaw neck or shoulders ah, la, la, la. Press into those feet firmly. Roll yourself up. Take your time. And then as you come up and your neck and head is last, let's do a couple windmills. Lengthening from the tops of our ears. <sighs> Wiggle out your body. Shake it out. Place those feet firmly on the ground, on the mat. Peel toes away, spread them, and then lower them down. Feel the floor underneath you. Find space in your body. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Do it again. Inhale up. And release last time. Gather in all that strength you created for yourself. Draw it close to your heart as you exhale. <sighs> Bow your head in gratitude for showing up for yourself today. Thank you so much. Te quiero mucho gracias. I love you. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today, on the floor for some band workout. I hope you feel great. I love you. Adios.